just looking around these rock pools and I was actually looking for a blue ring octopus and I found something that looks a little bit like one. It's one of the weirdest, most alien looking creatures that you can find under these rock pools and it's called the Brittle Star. Just look at it, it looks like it comes from outer space, doesn't it? And the way it moves around, it is in a chyloderm, it's in the sea star or as we used to call them starfish family. Uh, it's also related to the spiky guys, the uh, sea urchins too. I think this uh, weird alien looking creature deserves a sketch. So when I was looking at those legs I noticed lots and lots of little segments like this. It's almost like the back of a slater or something like that. Off the side of that all these other little segments which underneath each one of those was little tentacles like that. And every now and again you'd have a band like that going through it. Really good way of camouflage. And with one I noticed the band went like this and then it went like this. So it was broken. Pretty much like blue tongue lizards have broken or blotched bands. The key to a lot of sketching is observation. So if you can just notice all these little details rather than just trying to sketch and just putting stripes there, notice that, okay, that band a bit broken up there. Notice these little bits at the side, notice the little segments there. And it's by noticing those things, it makes your sketch much better. Often it's about seeing things. Well, there's my sketch. It didn't keep very still, but I was just able to get a bit of a sketch and then I'll let him go so as not to stress the little fella. There you go. Off your trot. And that was a brittle star. We'll see you next time. There he goes, under the water. He's happier there.